if you want to start developing mobile games quite easily and rapidly, this Mobile Growth Starter Kit is for you. It contains a combination of joystick and joypad buttons to ensure the best controllers for the player. This makes creating lots of games for mobile, such as shooters, much easier as you already have created the camera and player movement that can be easily tweaked to suit your specific needs. It contains a first-person demo, as well as a third-person one, and lastly a top-down demo. Let's explore this starter kit together. So in the first place, the creator of this amazing starter kit is called Lucky. You probably already know uh, this content creator. So basically he received um, this starter kit and with it he also created a video showcasing it and promoting it a little bit. I will of course be leaving a link to his video down below. And basically his video, the first part is just talking a little bit about the exact features that it contains that I have already mentioned during the introduction. And then all, all, all the other uh, parts of the video of more than 20 minutes is about customizing the project, how to read the code, how to um, modify the models, the camera, etc. Because, well, even though the starter kit is amazing, the idea of these kinds of templates is to be able to easily be adapted to different games that you may want uh, to create. So he mentioned things such as using Guidot 4.3. He explains how the project is well structured in order to be able to quite easily uh, modify it. it. It even has the, the folders color, so it's easier um, to recognize them and access the different files inside of it. So here in the description, this is the place in which he provides access to the GitHub repository. And basically, well, we would be able to import this inside of Godot. And also something quite interesting, the fact that here in the release folder, we can find an APK. That is the one that I actually downloaded and showcased at the beginning of this video. So it is even easier for you to uh, get a look at this template and try it out for you to know if you actually want to try it uh, out deeper in Godot to modify it and start creating uh, your own games. So how exactly you are able to modify this uh, starter kit? It is quite simple. You just click here on the code button, download a zip and this will download a zip uh, file. So then you will proceed to open up uh, the Godot editor. Check that you are in Godot. 4.3 and that you are in for example in growth 4.4 or other versions and then you will click here where it says import and then well in this case i have it in my download so uh, i will go to the downloads and here i have it uh, pocket growth main.zip and um i will actually the project installation path i will install it in the exact same uh, directory basically in the downloads folder for example over here and i will click import and uh, edit so here we'll just have to wait until uh, this until this project loads in. And as you can see now in a, in a, in a matter of just a few seconds, I do have everything. Once again, as I mentioned, I'm not going to go super deep into how exactly use this project and modify it due to the fact that he has already done an amazing work uh, in, in how to do this uh, because he's actually the person that has written the code that has created the project. So he's the one that knows more about how to modify it. But well, I will just do a quick overview for you to uh, get something out of, of actually this video. Um, so as, as I was showing you, uh, every single folder is uh, colored. Um, so it is quite easy to access the, the different uh, folders and files inside of it. And we can find, well, tons of scenes over here. Well, not maybe lots of them, but we do have a few. So for example, over here, let me make this uh, a little bit uh, longer. And um, for example, you can find here the three demos, the first person, third person, top down demo. So over here, you would be able to uh, modify the stage of here that it seems that it's even as a separate um, as a separate scene. So if you modify here any of these buildings over here or whatever, um, it would actually be applied to all the different scenes and demos that the game contains. Um, so here, for example, uh, we have the, the spells, okay, that were those kinds of, of circles. Uh, we also had like, this would be more like a bullet, I would say. 
uh, and well, it, it even has this um, joystick touchpad that, well, it's basically the, the joystick itself that, well, is hidden by default, but um, this basically has, as you can see, the different circles that the handle and the base that the, the joystick has. Um, so indeed, as everything is super well organized and divided into different folders, into sub scenes, etc., it is quite easy to modify literally anything because, for example, let's say that uh, you here in the demo stage, uh, let's say that you don't want to have this uh, this color and that on the other hand you want this to be like, I don't know, something like a red color because you just want to have this red. So, for example, there I'm changing the, the, the material color and, well, this is actually going to be changed in all the game or well, it should be changed in all the game. So as you can see now, all the different stage is actually in red. So there you saw how, and we can also check that indeed this is happening in every single game mode. Uh, so it, it is definitely uh, quite interesting and, and uh, taking in count, okay? And of course, as this is, for example, the stage scene that is shared between all the different um, game uh, games, basically, the, the different uh, game modes that it has, you will be able to, I don't know, for example, I could directly delete uh, all one word border if I wanted. Uh, like for example, I know I will delete this one. Well, I wouldn't be able here unless I open up here word border. Oh, well, I would. I, I don't really want to touch here lots of things. But well, you do get the idea that it is quite easy to mess around and to actually modify this as you really want to. So indeed, for more information about how to exactly modify this project, how the code works, because it's not like the most complicated code to understand and it's also super well documented as you can see literally every single line is actually being documented with with an amazing comment over there uh and as you can see the code is not that long we don't have scripts with um thousands and thousands of lines as you can see they are super long for you to actually take a look at modifying if you want but i think that actually most of the code here you wouldn't modify it if what you want to do is to create something quite simple because um for a joystick, you probably don't want to modify lots of things. For the camera, maybe you would like to change the angle, the zoom or whatever, but those aren't the big changes that are going to break everything and that will require you to actually start from scratch. So all those things should be considered. And for more details on how to exactly modify the project, how it has been constructed, etc., make sure that you check uh, the links video below from the creator Lucky, okay? And if you want to see more similar videos on this topic on Dev Without Engine, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will see you in the next one and bye bye.